Hey everyone, Bill the Kaiju King back. Another video. Like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Appreciate it. We're going to take a look at this guy. This is the uh, Bandai Namco Godzilla 2024 Heat Ray version soft fix. Ichiboncho. Ichiboncho. I hope I'm saying that right. This here is the box. All the boxes are pretty similar on these. Pretty cool art design on the box. Alright everyone, we'll move on to the star of the show. The Ichiban Show Bandai Namco Godzilla 2024 Heat Ray version. Alright everyone, I'm back and here it is. The Ichiban Show Bandai Namco Godzilla 2024 Heat Ray version. These were a lot bigger. Um, the figures are pretty big, I think. But they're pretty cool they're just over a hundred bucks this was like a hundred and fifteen off of toywiz.com this that was the first site i seen it in stock on and i went ahead and got it off there because it's pretty much that price on big bad and entertainment earth and all that so i just went ahead and grabbed it off there and that site shipped it actually pretty quick i got it fairly quick i've actually had it like a week or so i just now getting around to getting into it but uh now this was the video a couple videos ago a few videos i did a band kai uh band presto like six inch figure of godzilla 2024 but his dorsal plates weren't right at all now these are the dorsal plates i remember in the movie before he evolved looks like pretty much the 2021 you know um them dorsal plates on that man presto did this weren't exactly accurate i thought but it, this here is a pretty cool figure. Pretty great movie, of course. I love that movie. Great, great tag team. Kong and Godzilla make a very, very great tag team, in my opinion. Can't wait to see what happens in the MonsterVerse next. Take a quick look at him. Tail goes down, touches pretty much goes straight back from him. You can see for a hundred. $15 figure. There's nice details on him. The dorsal plates are translucent. Light will shine through them. Nice blue. Um, indicating his atomic breath, breath release. Scales on the tail look good. His feet look pretty good. Got some blue highlights in his legs there indicating his uh atomic breath attack hands are wide out claws open like he's getting ready to attack chest chest plate armor looks good midsection looks pretty good the sculpting of the skin and the scaling and all that i think it's pretty decent for a 115 dollars figure his head and his eyes the eyes are blue my inside of the mouth is blue as well hard to get a good camera angle on him there sorry it's a pretty neat figure this is my second Ichiboncho video from recent days um, I've also got the uh, minus one with the blue dorsal plates as well I'll try to get a video on him in the next few weeks hopefully I've got a lot of videos to catch up on but this here is pretty neat for a hundred fifteen dollar figure I think we'll do some comparisons let's do that now all right here's my 25 centimeter Godzilla 1965 X plus as you can see I mean <laughs> they're pretty much almost the same height X plus has got him by maybe a half quarter inch or so i mean that's pretty darn close to a 25 centimeter figure crazy all right we'll do one more comparison let's do that now all right everyone here's the evolved version the ichiban show bandai namco evolved godzilla 2024 alongside the uh, heat ray version 
and there's a video of the evolved on my channel if you go and look it back a couple weeks or so pretty cool figures all right we'll move on to some final thoughts let's do that now all right everyone i'm back bandai namco Ichi ichibancho godzilla 2024 heat ray version really nice paint with the blue accents and the scales of the skin depicting his uh heat ray attack it's pretty cool these are really neat figures i think they're really cool really nicely done <coughs> pardon me all right everyone i'll close out my video i want to thank everyone that tunes in this is phil the kaiju king y'all have a blessed day we'll talk again soon